What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Aries out there are doing well. So we're about to get into this spread, you guys, and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. If you find that some resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you are interested in a personal or running a special on my readings, all the information will be in the description box below. So we're going to start this reading off with the angel number, okay? You can be seeing the number seven. You also could be seeing 777. I feel like for you, Aries, there are new opportunities that are about to be heading your way. Your path is aligning for great wealth, okay? So what this means is in the past, you know, your path may have not been aligned for this great wealth, okay? You made a struggle. You may have went through some financial difficulties in the past, but I feel like now that cycle is closing out. So you also could be seeing 10, 10, you could be seeing 11, 19, ones or nines, okay? This is when you know that the old cycle is closing out and a new cycle is beginning, okay? Now, for some of you, you always know as you start to grow and change and evolve, not everybody's gonna be happy for you and those changes, okay? So for some of you guys, you got some people in your energy, baby, that's been talking cash, money, shit about you, okay? And the thing, Aries, that you may not even be aware that these people have been talking about you is I feel like a lot of you guys don't fool with a lot of these people anymore, okay? These could be family members. These could be friends. Like, you don't hang around. You don't associate with these people like you used to. And that could be the main reason why these people are mad, okay? Now, for some of you, you have some people who feel like they're in competition with you, okay? So these could be like, this could be a Leo you can be dealing with, okay, another fire sign. But these are people, I feel like whatever you do for work is something about what you do. You speak, you use your voice, you can sing, you have some type of gift, you have some type of talent, but you can have other people that's either in the same field as you or you have other people that just view you as competition. There could have been a recent dispute or disagreement between you and a family member. You felt the tension, okay? Some of you guys, when you walk in the room, when you go over your friend's house, you know what I'm saying? You felt that energy shifting, you know? When you walked in the room, you felt that tension like motherfuckers just got to talking about you or something, okay? So you felt that energy. Some of you guys, you have some karmic friends in your energy that look at you as a rival, okay? They look at you as being an op here. These are people that you can't fully trust. So these are people I want to tell them none of your business, nothing about your future plans, nothing. Because these people view you as competition, okay? And for some of you guys, you can have karmic friends that are secretly competing against you, okay? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So that's advice. That's the advice that you're getting from spirit. Because some of you have karmic friends. You can have karmic lovers, family members. But these people are very close to you. Make sure you keep your eye on them, you guys. But shit, distance yourself at the same time because these people are talking shit about you. They're mad because you done moved on to bigger and better things and they still doing the same old shit that they was doing when you left them, okay? These are people who have not made any changes in their life, but they're mad about the changes and the growth that you've made here, okay? Now, I feel like for some of you guys, because you have made changes, because you are growing, because there are things that's going differently for you, all right, I feel like there's someone that could be trying to be very strategic. You know, someone here is trying to use some type of tactic when it comes towards you. So this could be someone who's willing to take some type of risk or take a gamble with you. And for some of you, we got this boss daddy coming through, okay? This person who wants to, I feel like who's trying to be very strategic about, you know, what they say, how they approach you. You know, everything that they do is like they're being very, Strategic, like no one wants this person does not want to make move too soon. You know what I'm saying? Like this is like a game of chess. Like dealing with you, Aries is like playing this game of chess, and this person knows that they have to make the right move or shit ain't gonna work out. Okay. Now this big boss daddy, this boss daddy energy that's coming to you. This is somebody who represents stability. Okay, so they're gonna give you that stability. 
they're going to give you that, that security so you could be seeing 444 but some of you guys shit they got money okay this could be someone who has their own business they can be a ceo but we talking about big big energy aries okay and this is exactly what you need up in your life this is someone who is happily and gainfully employed employed okay maybe they have gifts and talents or skills but they're very accomplished this is someone who's very ambitious so it's like you know they always have their drive it's like they they, they keep working they go hard like shit they ain't got no money like they broke but they got plenty of money okay and for some of you we could be talking about your divine masculine here okay of this emperor energy this is someone who can be a father they represent authority or they can be in some type of authoritative position they're able to control you know they know areas in life they need to be controlled they won't be able, they won't try to control you but they know how to control things they're very disciplined they're experienced in life and they're also focused on their goals energy aries okay all right you guys so let's see who this reading is about you can be dealing with a virgo we got aries as well and leo so let's see aries who this reading is about all right, so we got Gemini, Heavy Sash, Taurus. We got Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Sag. We also have Heavy Capricorn, Pisces, and Gemini. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.